Beluga is on its final approach. Crosswinds buffet the whale-shaped plane. Captain Canton moves to steady the aircraft by pulling Beluga's nose into the wind. Up in the tower, Jeff Miller knows how dangerous it is to land ordinary aircraft in strong crosswinds. And Beluga is no ordinary aircraft. We have seen the aircraft cramming in, which is coming in sort of sideways to the runway when, and they kick, uh, kick it straight right at the last minute. Such a potentially dangerous maneuver. We actually put the fire engines on standby so they're all manned up, ready to go if the worst does happen. Yeah, you do get concerned. Canton must point the aircraft into the wind and then straighten it out just before it hits the runway. If he gets the approach wrong, Beluga's starboard wing could clip the ground. They're down. From your Yankee to the end, vacate right. Taxi to Charlie via Charlie. Report closing down. They now have 90 minutes to load up and get out. There's another storm coming in with 45 mile per hour winds, which is enough to ground Beluga and delay delivering the wings. This is Beluga's 90-ton self-propelled loader. It can transport and load the wings in just a few minutes. Beluga's lowered nose allows the entire front of the fuselage to open. Two incredibly strong pistons open the whale's enormous mouth. The opening is almost 40 feet high, but the incredible loading capacity comes at a price. The open mouth acts like a huge sail, putting enormous pressure on the hinges. A major gust of wind could rip the mouth right off. And with a storm approaching, the wind speed is rising. Using high-precision lasers, the loader is designed to match Beluga's height and angle. Loadmaster Elaine Marchesso is in charge of the transfer. Ready to go. The first set of wings is being loaded when, without warning, Beluga's control panel shuts operations down. Even Marchesso has no idea why. With a storm closing in and the wind speed rising, two multi-million dollar wings are stuck in Beluga's jaws. To save Beluga, the wings, and the mission, Mike Gladwin must fix the problem immediately. At the moment, it does look very good. Dispatch manager Mike Gladwin is worried. I've never seen him do this before. Finally, loadmaster Elaine Marchesso discovers why the wings won't budge. The tracks on the plane and the loader aren't perfectly aligned. They're half a degree off. 
So we have to do it manually on this? Yes. Okay. Beluga has a highly accurate leveling system. By increasing the pressure in the front wheel's hydraulic suspension, Beluga can quickly raise its front end. The plane and the loader are now fully aligned. And the first set of wings roll on. Then, the second set. Just put the second wing set on now. With the storm approaching, Beluga has just minutes to get off the ground. Captain Canton does a final check on the weather conditions. Well, we have uh, easterly winds. The wind is blowing right across the runway. Beluga is filled with 16 tons of precious cargo, 9,000 gallons of jet fuel, and is about to head down the runway through 30 mile per hour crosswinds. It might be a little bit, a bit bumpy after takeoff. It's Captain Canton's job to get Beluga into the air, despite the difficult conditions. He'll have to steer the giant plane into the wind as he accelerates down the runway. riding the plane the moment it takes off. <laughs> Captain Canton has made it, and Beluga is finally headed to Germany with a belly full of multi-million dollar wings.